Hello students, we have discussed the chapter synthetic fibers, we have also solved NCERT question answers and now we will be discussing 5 to 7 few extra questions. Uh, so, let us begin this. The first question is answer in one word. Answer in one word. Now, A is a polyamide fiber which is strong, elastic, and light. A uh, fiber they are asking which is polyamide and uh, uh, it is light also, it is strong also, and it is elastic also. So, we know that it is nylon. I will talk about the second one, the product formed by the combination, the product formed by the combination of large number of monomers. So, we know children that the monomers are the smallest unit, is not it? Monomers are the smallest unit of the fibers and when many monomers combine, they form polymers. So, what is the product which is formed by the combination of monomers? So, due to monomers or when the monomers combine, the polymers are formed. So, what is formed? Polymers are formed. Now, we will talk about the C1. Now, this one is a synthetic fiber obtained by polymerization of acrylonitrite. So, what is formed by the polymerization of acrylonitrite? That is acrylic. We know this also that acrylic is formed. due to the polymerization of the acrylonitrite. Now, we will come to the next question now. Uh, it has got only three or uh, one word answers. Now, we will talk about the next question children. So, the next question is answer the following. Next question is answer the following. Now, answer the following is even though the first one I will be discussing, we will be discussing now, even though wires inside the electric plugs melt, the plugs do, the sorry the plugs do not melt. So, children inside the uh, wire that means wires, wires are made up of what children copper. Copper is the good conductor of electricity and obviously when more current will come, it is going to melt. But then uh, these uh, you know wires inside electric plugs. So, why does the plug does not uh, melt in because it is made up of the product which is a bad conductor of electricity. Obviously, when the bad conductor of electricity is there whatever is the strength of the current whatever current whatever amount of current is passed into that it would not take it it would not allow it to pass through them and that is the reason the plugs do not melt. Why? Because the plugs are made up of the bad conductor of electricity and only yeah, this one is the only question which they have asked. So, it is uh, basically electric plugs are made up of bad conductor of electricity. Electric plug are made up of Uh, actually it is I know these are made up of bakelite mostly these are made up of bakelite. So, it is made up of bakelite which is bad conductor of electricity. So, electric plugs do not melt because they are made up of bad conductor of electricity and said so they do not allow the electricity to pass through them and so they do not allow electricity to pass through them to pass through them and hence 
दे दे डू नॉट दे डू नॉट मेल्ट This is our question number first. The question was the the wires melt, but the plugs do not melt. So the thing which is made up of good conductor, it will allow the electricity to pass through it. And when more current is passed, when the strength is more, so what will happen, children? The the current will force the that particular substance to 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 melt, isn't it? But when the substance through which the electricity is passing is bad conductor, it won't only it won't allow only to pass the electricity through it, and so it won't melt. Now we'll come to the question number second, children. Rayon is a synthetic fiber. Yeah, rayon is a synthetic fiber, but smells like burning paper. So children, paper is made up of what? Answer number two, children. This one is paper is made up of wood pulp. and if you all remember rayon is also made up of for making rayon also wood pulp is used when the raw material used is similar so definitely the characteristics uh, like when we burn definitely the smell will be of burning paper why because of wood pulp is a thing which is used to make the papers also and it is used to make rayon also so what is the reason and why does it happen because the wood sorry the paper and the rayon both are made up of wood pulp and so the uh burning of rayon also gives the smell of burn like you know it smells like burning paper so now we'll move to the next question children this first question number second now we'll talk about the third one so the question third is uh artificial fibers are highly inflammable why they are asking artificial uh, fabrics of artificial fibers are highly inflammable they catch fire very easily so why do they catch fire children because of the raw material that means they are made up of what they are made up of petrochemicals and obviously when we talk about petrochemicals we all know the petrochemicals are highly inflammable yes so as synthetic fibers are made up of petrochemicals which are which catches fire very fast which catches fire very soon and please complete the sentence because most of the time i do not write the complete sentences so i have just written the main point of the answer that the synthetic fibers are made up of petrochemicals which catches fire very soon so now you have to complete that is the reason when the uh, raw materials are petrochemicals which are highly inflammable and so the fibers which are made by the petrochemicals they also catches the fire very soon and so they are highly inflammable now we'll move to the next question and the next question is children question number 4 now question number 4 is explain 3 hours explain 3 hours we know these hours have got great importance now in in our life and the you know here they have asked about the 3 hours but the hours have also increased it has come to 6 hours now so we will talk only about the 3 hours as they have talked they have asked about the 3 hours so the three hours so the first is reduce now what we have to reduce what we have to reduce we have to reduce the use of the natural resources uh, we have to reduce the we have to use the natural resources very wisely take the example of the electricity take the example of the electricity 
Now when we leave the room, then also we are least bothered to switch off the lights and fans. We are switch off, we, we never switch off the ACs. Let them run. Let the room be cool. And for, for whom? For non-living things, isn't it? So we have to reduce the use of the electricity. Now why the electricity has to be reduced? The use of the electricity has to be reduced, student, because it is made from the natural resource that is coal or water. So definitely the use of coal and water will be the, uh, the, the consumption of water and coal will be reduced if we reduce the use of electricity. That means the need is to use the things wisely. We are not uh, supposed to waste the things. Wasting is not allowed. Use can is use that means a wisely use uh, the we, we are supposed to use the things wisely. Now when we talk about the water now just water also you know uh, even if we see a running tap uh, somewhere at the railway stations or maybe you know anywhere we are least bothered to get down and to close the tap. Why because it is not our private property but always remember water is very very precious even after paying a high amount of money also we won't be able to get water if we keep on wasting water in the same way as what we are doing now isn't it so we need to reduce the uh, use of water also we should use water uh, very very wisely you know because there are many places uh, uh, where the people are not able to get the normal requirement uh, you know the normal water which is required for a human being to be alive they have to hunt here and there hunt it doesn't mean the hunting it means they have to look for they have to search uh, water they have to go cover long distance to get water so uh, it has to be the, like the electricity has to be used wisely water has to be used wisely you know and even the petrol if you talk about the petrol petrol is also one of the very important natural resources now you people just take the example of your uh, classmates your friends just a uh, eight standard kid uh, you will find many students of a standards using vehicles vehicles in the sense i'm talking about the uh, petrol uh, based vehicles you are not supposed to run the vehicles uh, cycle is quite enough for you why because first of all even the uh, rule doesn't allow you people to use the vehicle whenever i now i'm saying vehicle it doesn't mean cycle it all it means the uh, the vehicles which runs on the petrol and diesel so why to waste petrol you are quite young and uh, can ride the bicycles very easily and so should be in habit of using bicycles and uh, to walk also this is not only for the students and for the younger ones but even for the uh, people like you know uh, everyone the the distance which which can be covered just by walking can, should like we should walk we should avoid the vehicles whenever it is possible should you use, use carpools and all that means we need to save petrol in any condition so by reducing the use of electricity water petrol these are just examples i have given three examples you can quote hundreds of examples over here isn't it so by using wisely the natural resources can be saved and thus the earth can be saved so this one was the first hour now we will come to the second hour which is recycle now recycle means what to use the thing again reduce means what to use wisely to use natural resources wisely And recycle means to reuse the things. Now, when we say recycle, the amount of energy which is required to make the fresh things uh, is more. For example, if you have to make the fresh papers, new papers, definitely um, we will be, uh, you know, cutting like like the plants will be cut down and the papers will be made but if the papers which are made used 
if the papers used papers are recycled and from that the fresh papers or the recycled papers are made definitely now this time the trees are not cut so recycle will definitely reduce the waste also yes it will reduce the waste also and at the same time it will save energy it will save plants when we talk about the paper so you know uh, recycling uh, is very very important nowadays the recycling can be done of uh, like the papers yes cans even uh, the metal cans yes i'm talking about the metal cans even the plastic can be recycled so the things should be recycled what will happen it will reduce the it will reduce the waste it will reduce the waste it will reduce it will reduce waste and it will also prevent energy will also prevent energy and resources will also prevent energy and resources now this is our second half first is reduce second is recycle now we'll talk about the third r so this one is reuse now in reduce uh, the energy can be saved you know out of all these the reduce is the best one that we have to reduce the use of the things now second one is reuse like keep on using the things again again till the time it is possible uh because in recycle again some amount of energy will be utilized again yes some uh, again something has to be some inputs will be required if we need to recycle the can again something will be in you know, a some waste will come out again electricity will be used some inputs will be required but if we reduce the use it is the best thing second is reuse now take the example of the pen children when we used to be the students like when i used to be a student we used to have only the pen where we used to fill the uh, ink we never used to throw the pens we used to have limited pens and we used to uh, change the refills we used to change the refills out of the ball pens and we used to fill the ink in the ink pens but now it is what we do we use the pens which cost 1 rupee 2 rupee and then those pens can be thrown even 5 rupees 10 rupees pens can be thrown just because it can be used once then the cartilages uh, the you know what you people fill that uh, instead of ink you people have uh, some uh, lead like structure which is to be used again when it is uh, empty it has to be thrown so now like in this which is this was just in a small example but the number of pens which we used to use in a year uh definitely it is quite it was quite lesser than the number of pens which you people use now in one year again the wastage the garbage is increased so the uh, thing is that we need to reuse the things instead of throwing the pens yes just we need to fill the uh, check the uh, fill the ink in that yes uh, change the only change only refill in that now again when it comes up reuse talk uh, talk about the containers the cans you know the bottles instead of throwing all this thing it can be reused for you know uh, uh, for maybe filling of uh, uh, floor or the certain articles or all these kind of things you know take the example of the jam bottles so these examples like uh, uh, jam bottle can be used to keep uh, maybe the cashew nuts so in this way the reuse of the things the use of the things which is being used once will also save the energy and will also save the waste again the same thing will also save the energy and also will save the waste so it's very very important to keep on saving the energy if we use the natural resources obviously definitely uh, our future will be bright and we will be able to remove this earth from the danger so now this was uh, answer number 4 and now we'll talk about the answer number 5th uh, yes now we'll talk about the answer number 5th this one was 4th 
and I will give this as A so that there will be no confusion this one is B and this one is C and now we will talk about the answer number 5th. So, what is question number 5th children? Uh, let me read the question. Um, write the difference between the fibers and plastic. So, they are asking the difference between the fibers and the plastic. Now, children the difference is in the making. The difference is in the making of how the fibers and plastics are made. Now, plastic is made by melting the particles, melting the substance, melting the particles. Yes, it is made by melting the particles, but here it is made by giving the, yes now plastic is made how it is, uh, uh, it is made by melting the particles, is not it? And uh, here fibers how the fibers are made weaving the weaving thread together so the difference first of all is in that uh, how it is formed uh, now second thing we all know the uh, fibers are porous yes the fibers are porous uh, they have asked the two difference so we will talk about the two difference only the fibers are porous but the plastic are known non porous they won't absorb non porous and we all know the fibers are quite porous uh, they absorb the sweat also they absorb the water also but plastic won't absorb so first of all the difference is in the uh, how they are made they are made in different way the plastics are made by melting the particles but uh, the fibers are made by weaving and definitely the fibers are the uh, structure which is porous they will absorb good absorbent depending upon the raw, raw materials with which uh, with what it is made yes but the plastic is non porous it won't absorb so this is answer number fifth and now we'll move to the next question please note these points now we'll talk about the next question children just the next question is uh, give the difference between the biodegradable and non biodegradable. So, we have to write the difference between biodegradable this one is answer number 6 I suppose answer number 6 biodegradable and non bio degradable so we have to write the difference between the biodegradable and the non biodegradable so first of all children what is the meaning of biodegradable substances bio means the uh, actually bio means life but the uh, the biodegradable is a substance you know which uh, is the uh, the one which get degraded which get decomposed by the natural agents so what is biodegradable children those substances which get de decomposed by natural agents those substances those substances which get decomposed by natural agents and they will never get decomposed do not I am writing in short children do not get decomposed by natural agents now children what is the meaning of natural agents natural agents can be oxygen can be acid rain can be you know the uh, water so na uh, natural agents mean even the microorganisms so natural agents like oxygen like acid rain 
like microorganisms like water so all these are natural agents which help in decomposing which helps what is the meaning of decomposition breakdown breakdown into simpler organic substances yes so after decomposition what will happen this will get converted into simple organic substances they get converted into simple organic substances and this become the part of the soil and become the part of the soil the part of the soil so they get decomposed decomposed means what it gets broken into smaller particles that means smaller organic particles and it becomes the part of the soil later on but here what happens they become the part of the solid waste they become part they become part of the solid waste why because they do not decompose they become the part of the solid waste now we'll talk about the examples so what are the examples even the dead plants and animals dead plants and animals then the fruits vegetables like all these uh, uh, which had life once yes uh, are the part of the uh, like it, it comes in the category of what biodegradable substances but when we talk about the non biodegradable substances children the examples can be what the plastic chemicals tires paints so all these do not get decomposed they do not break down into small organic particles and they do not become the part of the humus or the soil instead they become the part of the solid waste and uh, you know we all know that that is the reason we should separate the biodegradable and non biodegradable substances so that then the recycling can be done easily isn't it and non biodegradable non biodegradable substances can be recycled so uh, and these one can be converted into humus so that is the thing the biodegradable and non biodegradable substances should be kept uh, separately in the separate bins now we'll move to the next question children and the next question is definitely question number 6 what are blended fabrics so question number 6 uh this one is 7 there's bit confusion in the number uh what's wrong with the number no this one is 7th only this one is 7 and they have asked what is the how can we define blended fibers so children blended fibers are the fibers which are made by the two or more fibers isn't it you know two or more kind of fibers so what is the question what are blended fibers so uh, the, uh, the fibers which are made by mixing two or more fibers so the fibers or the blended fibers are made by mixing two or more fibers example if you want to quote children then poly coat poly coat and second poly wool so polyester and cotton is poly coat and polyester and wool is poly wool definitely when these are made by the mixing of two different kind of fibers they will be having characteristic features of both the fibers 
so um, poly will, uh, will have the uh, characteristics of polyester also and B wool also and poly cord will have the characteristics of poly also polyester also and cotton also. So, this was question number 7 where I wrote double T. So, poly cord and the poly wool. So, poly cord is the uh, one which has got the characteristic of the features of the polyester also and the cotton also and the poly wool will have the features of the polyester as well as the wool. Now, we will talk about the next question children it is question number 8. So, let us talk about this now how should be the problem of littering of the plastic be solved that means we all know this is a very uh, major problem nowadays very big problem because wherever you go uh, you go to uh, you know especially when you try to move out from your station that means you are living in one place and you try to move in another place so you know that the part between the two cities is totally covered by the plastic just leave that just uh, peep uh, around your areas the uh, the garbage when whenever you talk about garbage is not uh, anything just it is what uh, plastic and plastic and this littering is why dangerous because when we have discussed this the animals they eat uh, and uh, e while eating the you know that the eatables they also consume they also eat the plastics it get choked the animals die the drainages get choked they the water level does not increase many many things are there which we have discussed. So, what is the thing that how this littering can be stopped how this littering of the plastic can be stopped. So, there need to be you know lot of awareness has to be spread a uh, lot of education uh, uh, related to this has to be given you know uh, the people needs to uh, you know so much of enthusiasm uh, should be there in the uh, in us including me I am also including uh, like you know myself also that if we should stop doing this and if anyone else is doing we should also stop them. One is also that uh, by the use of uh, biodegradable plastic which also we have discussed is it. But first of all the awareness has to be spread awareness has to be spread and awareness to be spread that by littering these are the things which uh, happens and know this these are the very dangerous and disastrous thing. So, need to spread awareness then self motivation is very very important self motivation that that a person uh, should be self motivated you try to make a spread awareness you try to teach anything uh, to anyone, but until unless that person does not desire to do so the person does not want to do so does not want to learn does not want to get involved into that that uh, that feeling does not comes from within you know uh, that yeah I have to stop this I have to start this no that will not come. So, the self motivation is very very important you know then education that uh, you know it has to be uh, explained to the people that this one uh, can what are the consequences of this what are the drawbacks of this what are the harms of uh, doing all these kind of things you know. So, uh, again the people has to be more responsible yes the, the person uh, the public the uh, citizens has to be, be you know more uh, responsible then basic things has to be taught uh, so that the this self motivation self responsibility uh, can be increased. So, this is how we can stop the uh, this uh, uh, you know dangerous thing that is littering. Now, we will come to the last question that is the 9 question and 9 question is that I will just read the question now answer number 9. Now, this one is give the names of the few natural fibers with their sources that means, we are supposed to give the names of the natural uh, fibers. So, what are the natural fibers children? The natural fibers are the fibers which we get from the nature. So, what are the fibers which we get from the nature? We get wool from nature, we get silk for na from nature yes then what else do we get? We get jute from nature then again uh, we get also linen from nature 
so all these are the uh, even the hemp we get from the nature so these all are the fibers which we get from the nature these are not made artificially these are not man made fibers so when we talk about wool how do we get wool they have asked that we are supposed to give the uh, you know the examples along with the sources that from what it is being made so wool is we know the hair of animals like you know the sheep the goat uh, is used so hair of animals when we talk about the silk we all know the cocoon is used for this silk worm now when we talk about the jute so the stem of the jute is utilized isn't it the stem of jute is utilized and when we talk about the linen and hemp again the jute is utilized in case of the uh, linen the jute of flax is used and here the stem stem of flax and here the stem of marijuana stem of marijuana is used so these all are the natural fibers like wool silk jute linen and hemp wool we get from the hair of the animals like sheep goat uh, even the uh, you know yak silk the cocoon of the silk worm jute from the stem of the jute linen from the stem of the flax plant and hemp from the stem of the marijuana so these all are the extra questions which were taken from the lesson synthetic fiber and now that's all with this lesson thank you